Hello, I'm gonna do a really quick video about my hair loss just because I'm gonna keep track of it. I'm not losing it like chemo fast. I've watched some chemo um, hair loss videos this morning and I don't envy those brave women like at all uh, what they have going on. Mine has been going I'm sorry, a little slower than that, than chemo. Um, but my hair definitely gets progressively thinner every single day, so the effect right now is I don't like have any bald patches, and it's not coming out in huge chunks, but I can get, I don't know, five hairs every time I run my hands through. Maybe more than five hairs. Um, and so right now, it's, since there are no like bald spots yet, um, but they're thinning places. Um, my hair has just gotten really um, thin. It's like somebody's taking um, taking thinning shears and um, just taking all of the bulk out, so there's like no thickness to it. Um, this uh, is about the amount. I don't know if you can see it. Um, that I lose in the shower every single time I shower. Um, it is sort of balled up, but my hair's not that short. Um, but I am losing it a lot of hair. Now, my doctor says that, that um, sometimes the herxing and the response to some of the drugs um, can cause hair loss, and if it might come to a point where um, It'll be thin enough that I want to address that. And it just like, you know, when you lose this every day, it, um, eventually you're not going to have a lot of hair left. So um, I just thought I'd show you for the record. It's going to take a while. It's not like tomorrow. It's not like chemo. Again, I'm rambly. Sorry. I'm feeling really shitty today. I'm herxing like a mofo. Um, part of that's because. Uh, I'm on a rotation schedule now, so like I just took my art and I took it yesterday, and today's a Mepron day as well. And I'm still hurting from the Plaquenil, so anyway, um, that was a tangent. So anyway, uh, it's not like tomorrow I'm gonna rip out a handful of hair, but if this progressively gets is like this every day, um, I won't have hair a lot of hair left soon. So I wanted to show you. Um, sort of how thin it is. I wonder if I can zoom in. Where's the zoom? Okay, so at, at the like sort of hairline, it's receding all of a sudden, and I've lost a lot of hair from that. Um, it's just not very thick anymore. Like, uh, this used to take like an, an, a normal adult hair tie, and now it's so thin, I don't know if you can see this, that like it would take just like one of those little things that kids put on their braces. Um, so my hair is just very, very thin. There's not a place, it used to be that I had a lot of bulk in back, but there's just not a place where there is. So, I'm not um, at all complaining. I'm a lot luckier than a lot of people. Um, but for those of you that are having Lyme disease, if you are losing your hair, it's not completely uncommon. My doctor also says that it could partially be to, um, in my case, I am having very low oxygen levels. Um, sometimes dangerously low, and if you don't have sort of like enough oxygen, things start happening as well. So it's a combination of medicine and oxygen. So my hair might be going, going, gone, which is why that nice girl made me that hat, because I was talking about it. So that is my hair chronicle for the day. This is my average hair loss right now, and we will see what happens. Lyme disease. I think I'm going to do a haul video also, maybe, um, just to keep it light uh, and to try and take my mind off of the horrible sort of pain I'm in right now. So, uh, happy Wednesdays. I've been uh, 
I became Facebook friends with my secret disease, and we've been chatting back and forth on Facebook already a lot today and commenting on each other's pictures, so that's really fun. So, yeah, good Wednesdays. I'll talk soon.